Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled to be here today working at the house and I'm so glad that you could join me. Okay, so in a few minutes Jay is going to be coming and we're going to be working on more of the studying in the upstairs. Um, we've gotten a lot done, but we just have a few more walls and things to do before it'll be all done and then we'll be ready for electric, which is just wildly exciting. But before Jay gets here, I wanna show you an update of what has happened since the last video. Okay, so I believe that all of the rafters are officially finished in all of the rooms including all the closets and little storage spaces, so that's very exciting. And all of the walls are finished, except for I have to finish this today. And then we'll work on the knee walls and the two side walls. So Jay and I were talking about the ceilings, um, because we're planning on having vaulted ceilings, but we're going to have collar ties, which are like, like these little beams that are going back and forth. But we're gonna put new ones up. So we had done a lot of talking about where we're gonna put them. I like, are we gonna put them on every rafter or whatnot? And I wanted to have um, ceiling fans in each of the bedrooms. So what we decided was we're gonna put basically on the, like here there are four rafters and we're gonna have color ties on the outside too. And then in the very middle is gonna be a ceiling fan. And in that room, there are three rafters that go through. So we're gonna have a color tie on the two outside ones and then the ceiling fan in the middle. I think that that's gonna look really nice because it's gonna be more symmetrical and still have the exposed, you know, wood beams or whatever, but I really wanted to have the ceiling fan because I like to have the fan while I'm sleeping, but also I didn't want, like the ceiling isn't high enough to have the ceiling fan go off of the beam. The ceiling fan would be cutting off my head, so we can't have that. But I think that is a very good um, way to do it. Okay, so while I wait for Jay to get here, I'm going to work on those small walls. But I feel like you've seen enough of that, so I probably won't film it. Okay, these studs are all done. Look how beautiful. Jay is here, and we just had quite the powwow. We actually had a lot of people come and a lot of people looking at the house and figuring stuff out. So my furnace techs from my office, a couple of furnace techs came and we talked about radiators and plumbing and stuff like that. And I have some things to tell you about that. And I have some crazy, crazy news to tell you, but you have to wait till the end of the video to watch it because first me and Jay are going to continue studying. Do you want me to bring up the smart fuel wrappers? Awkward way to move rubber up the stairs. <laughs> 
Yeah. I can cut me some too when I have work with them yeah. when I'm ready. Okay. Uh, about 47 inches. You got a lot of compliments on your braided hair too. Oh. Know, but it's probably because it's really, really dirty and gross. Oh. <laughs> oh.
like, um, probably how the entire house was, right? What's that? This is how the entire house was, with having to put little things everywhere. And yes. Yeah. A little shimmy in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's very tedious. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we got done all that we could get done on this wall because we ran out of 2x4s, so we need to get some more of them. But this looks great. I feel like I really was not that terribly helpful today, but I did learn a lot of like how, how this all works by watching Jay. So that was helpful for me, even though I didn't actually do much. But I did want to talk a little bit about um, some of the things that we talked about earlier with our furnace tech. So we figured out some idea of like where the um, radiators are going to go and stuff. Um, I don't have a solid plan. I need to dry out. But at least he answered a lot of my questions about where things can go and can't go and how many we need to have, etc. He said the, the big issue that we're going to have with my specific house is that the foundation is so, so thick um, of the stone that it's going to be hard like we need to be careful about where we're putting the radiators against the exterior walls because it's going to be hard to drill up in order to bring the pipes up through. So that is going to be tricky, but we'll figure it out. So he said if we have any interior walls that we can put them on, that would be easier for the plumbing of it. It's just a matter of finding walls that aren't going to already have furniture on them is the tricky part. But um, I'm gonna do some thinking on that and I will let you know when I figure out a plan. We did figure out what we're gonna do for the upstairs hallway here. Um, this is where the door frame was before. As you can see, it is not here anymore. We're actually gonna push the door frame into the bedroom a little bit. So we're actually gonna go, the um, chimney is here. And since we had to go kind of around the chimney anyway, we decided to move this part out also so the hallway is going to be slightly bigger and the bedroom is going to be slightly smaller but that leaves this area right here where we can put a radiator instead of having it right at the top of the stairs making the hallway smaller we're going to be able to still have this normal hallway size and have the radiator off to the side so i think that's going to work really well we figured out like where the plumbing is going to go in the walls all that sort of stuff which is very important but I know you're all saying that I promised big news. So where is the big news? Let me show you. Okay, the biggest question, suggestion that I get in the comments over the entirety of my YouTube channel has been, are you going to put in a bathroom upstairs? Or why aren't you putting a bathroom upstairs? And I know I've talked about this some before in a recent video, but the reason that I kept saying, no, I'm not going to put a bathroom upstairs is because of the ceiling. It's just straight up too short. Like, um, when I'm standing here, it is hitting my head, but it's going to go even like an inch ish lower than this because of the sheetrock and the strapping. But even now I'm like five foot two, so I'm very short. And even now there's only two feet of standable area in this space. Everything else is squatting, you know? So I'm always like, okay, sure, an upstairs bathroom would be nice, but you know, I don't need it and you can't stand up in here anyway. So it's just not an option. Now, the only option that I've said, and I've said this before, the only option for having this a bathroom, in my opinion, would be to put in a dormer. And in my head, that is a huge, huge thing. And I was like, you know, it's really not necessary. I can live without an upstairs bathroom. I did it for the majority of my life in the house where I grew up and I honestly didn't think anything of it. So it's not like a crazy thing for me. But I mean, of course it would be great. And I'm definitely, you know, wanting it to be good for resale value and all that stuff. Anyway, I was talking to Jay today and I was like, I brought up the dormer situation and he said, well, yeah, I mean, it's definitely some work, but it's not that crazy because, you know, I don't have construction knowledge. So in my mind, it seems like a huge ordeal, but he said, no, it's totally doable. Like we could do that. It wouldn't be too bad. Um, and the fact that I'm planning on getting a new roof tentatively this summer, um, all leads to the fact that if I'm gonna do it, you know, I should definitely do it now. So I have decided to 
do it. So I'm gonna put in a dormer and um, make a little, just a little half bath, just the bathroom, or just a sink and a toilet upstairs. Um, and the door will be in the hallway so you can get into the bathroom from either of the bedrooms, not from the bedrooms, but walk in the hallway, go in the bathroom. Because I don't prefer having two doors in a bathroom because I'm always like paranoid. Are they both locked or are they not locked? Like it's just weird for me. So that is the plan. I will dig more into that a little bit later, but um, it's all very new to me. I just made the decision this morning. So I'm gonna make some um, sketches and figure out dimensions and everything. And I will let you mo know more about that when I know more about that. But for the meanwhile, I just wanted to let you know that I am planning on doing an upstairs bathroom. So that is the big news for today. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Since I wasn't working so hard today, um, I got way colder and my fingers are like little icicles. So I'm going to go home and warm up with a delightful beverage and I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a fantastic day.